Hello, it's Nikki. Welcome back. Welcome to day 16. Um, you may have to go first. <laughs> and this can be so painful in that first moment. You have probably been in many group environments where somebody says, can I have a volunteer? And everybody goes quiet. Everybody goes silent thinking, don't pick me, don't pick me, don't look at me. I don't want to do it. Don't make me do it. And this is what you might experience when you are making bold moves or changes in your life. When you know on one hand, you want to do the thing. You know that thing is meant for you. Everything about it is pulling you in that direction. You feel it with every bone in your body. But the other part is, wow, this feels a lot. Or you might tell yourself, I'm not ready, or I don't know what to do, or, oh my goodness, what would people think? And maybe that is popping up at 3.30 in the morning. Maybe that's requiring you to step up and make hard decisions. But I want to encourage you to keep going, to keep going with that passion, with that heart, with that sense of purpose, that sense of you knowing what you are meant for. Because as a coach that I've worked with previously, Emily Williams says, is if you have that desire within you, it's meant for you. You are the person to do that thing. And you can ignore it if you want to. But the likelihood is, is that it will start to keep popping up once again, again and again and again. This is why I meet so many people in their 40s, 50s and 60s who are reconnecting with the things that they loved as a child. Because maybe in busy life they'd forgotten about them or other priorities stood in the way or they just had to do something else. And so I want to remind you that as part of this process, you may have to be the experiment. But that doesn't mean that you have to get it right immediately. It doesn't mean that you don't have wiggle room for trial and error. You absolutely do. And sometimes these people that are sitting on the sidelines and questioning us and giving unsolicited feedback are people who would never in a million years go first. And I know it's so easy for somebody to sit in a pub, pour a glass of wine and really go to town on somebody, pulling them apart, what they think, what they did, um, and really give them a full personality audit. But the truth is, when we are working through something, when we are elevating, when we are leveling up, as people would say, the cool kids now, we know that there is always more work to doing the thing than what other people just see on the outside. There is always internal work. There is always tough bits. There are always late nights or early mornings or sacrifices. We only may see one side of the story when we look in. So please remember that. Please remember that even though other people might be just looking at making it look easy, it's probably that they've had to do their own work first. And remember all the benefits about going first. Imagine if it worked. Imagine if you did the thing that you wanted to do. Imagine if you could create that ripple effect. And as I've mentioned in this podcast so many times, imagine if you could be that Pharrell Williams and send the elevator down send it to the next person, shortcut the process, help somebody else out, create a movement, inspire other people. Imagine if that became part of your story. Imagine if you were the first, the person that other people looked out to. Because once again, go back to that sense that you wouldn't have been given these desires, these gifts, these 
um, senses of, I feel like I'm on the right path, but maybe I'm not sure why. Trust all of that and take it slowly. One foot in front of the other. Choose who you focus yourself around with and go with that support. People who champion you, people who make you a cup of tea, people who will hear you, people who will hold space for you. Those are the people that you want to surround yourself with. Not the people who sit at the back and whisper and say, oh, I could do that, oh, la, 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 all these things. Because for the most part, you've never had a conversation with those. And if you have, it's never been a conversation of any kind of depth where they've asked questions to get the answers that they probably need before they come to their assumptions. If you are looking at leveling up and you're thinking, all right, all right, let's do this thing, book a strategy session with me. I do them in person in London or on Zoom. So wherever you are in the world, we can organize that. This is a safe space for you to say what it is that you want, to really lay your ambition down on the paper and bring it to the room. And we find a way together to make it happen and make it real and make it your year, your year to do the things and create the version of you that you know that you're meant to be. All the details are all, as always, are on my work with me page, nikkiraby.com forward slash work with me. I will see you there. See you in a bit. Lots of love.